How's it going ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beam Review. Today we're going to be going over everything you need to know about BMW's brand new iDrive 8 climate control settings. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, Beam Review, what we do here is teach you everything there is to know about your BMW. We also do some really cool hidden tips, tricks, and features reviews. So if that's something that you want to stay in tune with, subscribe to the channel because we put out content every single week. Before we get started, we did want to mention our Amazon store that is linked right down below. This Amazon store has some really cool BMW accessories for all the newer vehicles and all the older ones as well. So at the end of the video, definitely check out this store. You're, you're going to find some pretty cool things that you could get for your bmw as well without further ado ladies and gentlemen for this video we're gonna be going over this whole brand new climate control system if you're new to bmws and if you're new to this new iDrive 8 operating system you're gonna be pretty confused on how to use the new climate control menu so we made this video to kind of help you out and to break it all down so ladies and gentlemen a quick overview bmw did get rid of all their physical buttons and then now is it is all integrated into the screen this is going to be a love it or hate it type of change but we're going to show you some ways that will make you love it a whole lot more and we're going to make it super easy to understand and use again bmw did go digital with all their climate control buttons and it's and settings so you're going to find everything you need to know about your climate from this button right down here and it doesn't even matter whichever settings or whichever place you're in this climate control bar is always going to be here for you so you can always just go right into here or if you just need to adjust your temperature you can always do that right here too but let's go ahead and go into the climate menu and once we're in there we're going to see some pretty cool things so right off the bat this one is going to be for our heated steering one of the cool things that is new with BMW's heated steering is that is that now there are four different settings that you can choose from. You have low, medium, high, and very high. And that is something new that is brand new for iDrive 8 vehicles. Along with the heated seats as well, there are now four different settings for this as well. Before there used to be three, but now you also have very high. Going right over, we have our cooling seats. If your BMW has cooling seats, you also have this function as well. Again, four different settings for that. We have our fan speed, which is located here. And we're gonna come back to this in just a second. And then we have another new function right over here where we have, where it says balance. If you were to click on this, you would have two selections. You can go into dynamic or you can go into balance. Again, this is a brand new function. Majority of the time, it, it does work best whenever it is in balance. I do also believe that with dynamic, you're gonna feel the airflow come from all different directions of the vehicle, from the top, from the bottom. And then once you see this line here and everything to the right of it, you're gonna see everything that is related for the passenger. You have your heated seats, you have your cooling seats, and then you have your fan speed here, which you can control in auto. And just like a left side here, you can, you have the option to, to choose between balance or dynamic here too. Now, let's talk about how you want to be using your climate control settings for the most part, say for example, every single day. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to be going more advanced into the different ways that you can fine tune your climate control. For the most part, the way that you want to use your climate control, in my opinion, is you always want to keep it in auto on both sides. You do see your auto button here and then you see your auto button there. For the most part, you simply want to keep it on auto. And then literally all you have to really do is just control your temperature from here. And again, you can be in whichever screen of your BMW and you can always control the temperature. You're always going to see this temperature bar here. For the most part, just leave it on auto, control your temperature, and then it's going to be similar to setting your temperature inside your house. The car will just do whatever it needs to do all by itself in order to maintain that 70 degrees within the cabin. Now, you might be questioning a couple things. Even though the vehicle is in auto, do I need to turn off the AC button, say for example, during the winter time, whenever I'm trying to heat up the car, or can you still adjust the fan speed while the vehicle is still in auto? So let's break those down. So in terms of the AC button here, with all these newer BMWs and vehicles coming out these days, in my opinion, you never really have to touch the AC button at all. For the most part, I usually just leave it on at all times, even during the winter time. And the only thing I really have to do is just control the temperature again to set it to whatever temperature that I want in, inside the vehicle. And then literally the vehicle will just do it all by itself. Even though AC is on, it still knows that you want to keep it at a nice heated 80 degrees and then the vehicle will just do it all by itself. So again, for the most part, do not worry about having AC on or off. Just leave it on, set it and forget it. Next up, you're going to wonder about the fan speed here. now. For many other brands of vehicles outside of BMW, if you were to control the fan speed, it would actually knock it out of auto mode. 
But for BMW, it's actually really cool. You can still keep the auto mode on and you can still control the fan speed to whatever you like. In terms of the fan speed, where I like to keep it is usually going to be on very low. But if I do feel that the vehicle does need to quickly heat up or cool off, you can put it on medium as well. That is also a good one. For the most part, I do like to keep my fan speed on very low or low just so it doesn't make too much noise within the vehicle and even though you can control the fan speed say for example if your vehicle really needed to heat up the car drastically or cool down the car drastically it will simply take over the fan control all by itself as well and it will speed up and slow down all by itself as well but again this setting here for the fan is going to be more pertaining to say for example once your desired temperature is reached how do you want that fan speed to go for my personal taste i like to keep mine very low or low. Before we knock out this column here, we're going to touch up on a couple of things here as well. So you have a button here called Max AC. This used to be a physical button as well. This guy is very, very, very useful for those really hot summer days because if you were to simply just hit this, the vehicle will, will do everything it can to cool down the vehicle as quickly as possible. It'll do two things. It'll set the temperature to as lowest degree possible and it'll kick up the fan speed all the way up as well. And by doing that, I have used it so many times during those hot days. It cools down the vehicle super, super quick and is very, very, very useful. Once you do hit the max AC button, again, you're gonna see the fan speed high. You're gonna see the AC go all the way down. You're gonna see the temperature go all the way down. Once you're done with it, all you have to do is hit it one more time and then it'll simply just go back into whatever setting you had last. And lastly, on this top portion of the menu, you're gonna see the sync button here, which is very, very nice. And of course, hitting the sync button there will sync these two temperatures, the driver side and the passenger side together. Now, some cool new designs to look out for is gonna be this little waveform that you see right down here. You can see that the vehicle is trying to heat itself up. And then, so you're gonna see this little red line shift from left to right, letting you know that the vehicle is doing what it can to heat up the vehicle as quickly as possible. As the vehicle gets closer to its desired temperature, you're gonna see that pulsing red line get very, very dim. And then once it has reached its desired temperature, it is simply just gonna stop pulsing and then just keep it completely steady as you can see. Now to break down the column on the left side here, you have four different functions. All climate control functions is simply another way of saying the on and off switch for your whole climate control setting. If you were to turn this off, the whole system of climate control will simply turn off as well. And then to turn it back on, simply hit it again and then your climate control is gonna be back on again. Right over here, we have our automatic program. If you were to go into here, you can select which side of the seats you would want to have in auto. You can choose between the driver and the front passenger. And again, those two switch, those two buttons that we just saw here also correspond to this driver side auto mode and the passenger side auto mode as well. Auto air circulation. By default, you always wanna keep it on automatic air circulation. You can get more fresh air right here as well. And right down here at the bottom, you can have the air recirculate within the vehicle. Quick note on the on the internal air recirculation. As a safety feature, this will only recirculate the air for a certain amount of time. Once a certain amount of time has passed, the system will knock itself out of air recirculation mode and then send it back to fresh air in order to make sure that doesn't stay on for a long time for safety reasons. Lastly, on this left side here, we have a setting button. So once we go into that, we're gonna see a lot more advanced settings that you probably may not use a whole lot to be honest but let's go ahead and break these down as well so these are going to be your driver's side settings the cool thing here that bmw has been doing for a long long time is bmw gives you the option to separately control the air that blows out of this whole trim level here from that vent there from these two vents here and right down there as well the way that you could do that is that you can have those middle vents to be sl slightly more cooler than the rest of the vehicle or slightly more warmer than the rest of the vehicle as well for the most part, simply just keep it in the middle. You probably don't have to adjust that a whole lot, but just know that you do have the option to separately control this whole line of vents right down here. Seat heating distribution. Once you have your heated seats on, you can distribute whether you want more of this portion of the seat to be warmer than this side. And for this one too, simply just keep it in the middle and then the vehicle will just do it all by itself. But again, you do have the option to, to control the distribution, whether again, if you want it to be warmer on the bottom or on the back. Also with all the newer BMWs, if you have heated seats, especially a BMW SUV such as the X5 or X7 that has heated seats, you also have the option to heat it armrest as well. Once you turn on your heated seats, you're also gonna feel that the heated armrest is gonna turn on all by itself. And that function is basically giving you the option to have your heated armrest on as soon as, soon as you turn on your heated seats. So these functions also can be separately controlled for the front passenger. If you were to go into there, you're gonna see the same functions there. So your front passenger also has those same type of advanced settings that they could do. 
Second row of seats here, you can control your second row here completely separately. You can adjust the fan speed. You can lock the whole climate control system if you like. And you can also separately adjust the temperature on both sides as well. Our third row seats, this also gives us Another ob option here, just like our second row. Lastly, we have a button right down here called preconditioning. Again, this one, you're probably not gonna use a whole lot, but a couple things that you could do with preconditioning is if your vehicle has remote engine start, you are gonna have to go into here the first time you get your BMW, and you're gonna have to make sure that this guy is on in, or in order to use your remote start. But just note that your state laws and your country does depend on this. So by default, that is why they have the feature off to begin with. But yes, if you want to do remote start, you do have to go in into this menu and and turn that on first before you even begin to use it. There is another function here call, called departure plan, which is really cool because if you have a routine that you follow every single day, you can have your vehicle preconditioned at the same time every single day. I do believe it also gives you the option to select your days and your time as well if you do use the app. A couple other bells and whistles that you should know about is that BMW's new voice command system can control every single piece of setting inside this climate control function. So even though you might not see your climate control buttons here, and then to prevent yourself from going into the menu and then switching around all that stuff while you're driving, easiest way to do it these days is simply by using your voice command. You can tell your voice command to do pretty much any different climate control setting that we just saw. You could tell it to, tr to control the temperature. You can tell it to control the setting for your heated steering wheel, your heated seats, what temperature you want within the vehicle. You could even tell a voice command that you're cold and then it'll just warm up the vehicle, set the temperature all by itself as well. So that's how powerful voice command is gonna be for climate control for all the newer BMWs. Definitely make sure you utilize that a whole lot. It will save you a additional step on using your hand while you're driving to go into the menu and mess around with all that. Simply just tell your voice command that you want the vehicle to be 75 degrees and then it'll just do it. Also to touch up on these brand new vents that BMW is doing for all their vehicles. Again, you, you can use these little knobs to control which direction of the air from the vent that you want it to blow off from. And also one big trick that many may not know off the bat is if you want to close the vent, you would simply just have to give this a twist. And then that is gonna be how you close the vent. And if you want to open it, twist it back into its horizontal position, and now the vent is open. Lastly, the last few physical buttons that we have remaining on BMWs that are gonna be staying for a while is gonna be our two defrosters, which is right here and right here. Frosters are gonna be the only two physical buttons that we have. Again, definitely utilize that in those messy conditions. It will defrost the vehicle and give you a clear view very, very well. If you were wondering what this little guy is right down here, this is actually a cabin temperature sensor. So this is how the BMW can detect what the cabin temperature is within the vehicle. And it will be using that sensor in order to make adjustments on the climate control. That is gonna be our breakdown of the climate control settings. If you do all do have any questions, write it down below. Let us know. If you do have any questions on the climate control settings, write your questions down below. I tend to respond to every single comment, so do not hesitate to ask. Again, BMW's climate control system is gonna be a love it or hate it, but the best way to go about it is simply just set it into auto and control the temperature here. And definitely make sure you're using your voice command to control the temperature or climate within the vehicle it will make your life much more easy hope you all have a great day check out the amazon store right down below and i'll see you all for the next one